Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 8th of August, 2024. The Indian equity indices erased some of the previous session gains amid high volatility on August 8, as the RBI policy outcome was on expected lines with key rates unchanged, while the Monetary Policy Committee continued with withdrawal of accommodation stance. At close, the Sensex was down 581.79 points or 0.73% at 78,886.22, and the Nifty was down 180.50 points or 0.74% at 24,117. LTI Mindtree, Grazim Industries, Asian Paints, Power Grid Corp and Infosys were among major losers on the Nifty, while gainers included HDFC Life, Tata Motors, SBI Life Insurance, HDFC Bank and Cipla. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Tire Maker MRF's net profit fell to 573 point for rupees crore in June quarter, down 6% from the corresponding quarter a year ago, while revenue from operations rose by 11.7% to 7196.5 rupees crore compared to a year ago. The company's June quarter net profit was dragged lower as expenses rose faster than revenue growth, results filed with the stock exchanges revealed. Cost of materials consumed jumped to 4,370.6 rupees crore in quarter 1 financial year 2025 from 3,780.7 rupees crore in the same quarter a year ago. Other expenses rose to 1092.7 rupees crore from 967.9 rupees crore. MRF's total expenses for the June quarter came at 6517.6 rupees crore, nearly 14% year on year higher than 5727.9 rupees crore in the corresponding quarter preceding year. The company's operating margin, earnings before interest and tax, EBIT, margins during the quarter shrunk to 10.61% from 12.37% a year ago. Its net profit margin also compressed to 7.84% from 9.04%. However, MRF saw a significant improvement in the financial results on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, with April-June net profit jumping 55% on quarter from 370.5 rupees crore. Operating EBIT margin expanded from 8.3% and net profit margin grew from 6.15%. MRF stock reacted positively to results, with the price jumping nearly 5% to top 1 point for rupees lark per share. Shares of Suslon Energy hit a 5% upper circuit to scale a multi-year high of 73.05 rupees on NSE. The recent surge comes after the renewable energy player signed definitive agreements for acquisition of 76% stake in Renom Energy Services from the Sanjay Godawap Group. Renom is the largest multi-brand operations and maintenance service provider in the country with assets of 1,782 MW in wind, 148 MW in solar, and 572 MW in BOP under maintenance across customer segments. It operates in seven windy states and has experience maintaining turbines from 14 different manufacturers. The acquisition will occur in two stages, an immediate purchase of 51% for 400 rupees crore and an additional 25% within 18 months for 260 rupees crore. Suslon Energy will not merge Renom with itself and it will continue as an independently managed company, said Suslon Group CEO J.P. Cholosoni in an interaction with CNBC RTV18. The operations and maintenance business will provide stability to Suslon's financials, he added. The stock had ended at an upper circuit of 5% in the previous session as well. Morgan Stanley has issued an overweight call on Suslon, with a target price of 73 point for rupees per share. According to the international brokerage, the acquisition of Renom Energy Services marks a strategic entry into the multi-brand operations and maintenance services sector. The implied valuation of for X price to sales is considered cheaper than its listed peer, MS said in its note. JM Financial has maintained its buy rating on Suslon stock. The company is likely to leverage Renom for capturing 32 gigawatts non-Suslon OM's market, 10 gigawatts immediate opportunity, which is growing with India's target of 100 gigawatts wind energy capacity by financial year 2030. Shares of BSE Limited skyrocketed to nearly 8% in early trade on August 8, buoyed by the stock exchange's stellar earnings in the April-June quarter.
record high EBITDA margins to bolstered the investor sentiment. The company's net profit jumped nearly fourfold year on year to 265 rupees crore in the June quarter, up from 72.6 rupees crore a year ago on an adjusted basis. Revenue from operations surged by over 180% to 607.7 rupees crore in quarter 1 of financial year 2025, up from 215.62 rupees crore in the same period last year. In the previous year's April-June quarter, BSE reported an exceptional gain of 406.62 rupees crore from the profit on divestment of a 5% stake in Central Depository Services, India. BSE's quarter 1 EBITDA margin 2 swelled to a record high of 47%, a sharp expansion from 33% in the corresponding period. In addition, the stock exchange said that it is working on uniform charges across client segments, allaying concerns that it will not hit companies' revenue. Brokerage firm Motilal Oswal Financial Services believes the relaunch of BSE derivatives products has turned out to be a trend-changing measure. Increased member participation, new product launches, stock derivatives, rising awareness about products, and a recent launch of stock derivatives would continue to drive market share gains for BSE, MOFSL said. Shares of BASF India surged 12%, extending previous sessions gains to hit a fresh record high of 7,949.90 rupees on NSE as investors cheered the company's fiscal first quarter earnings. The Indian arm of the German chemical giant BASF, Badish Anilin and Sodafabric, reported a 36% on-year growth in net profit at 22 rupees crore in quarter 1 financial year 2025. Its revenue jumped 18% year-on-year to 399 rupees crore during the quarter under review. The portfolio of BASF India comprises six segments namely chemicals, materials, industrial solutions, surface technologies, nutrition and care, and agricultural solutions. The company's products cater to various industries including automotive, personal and home care, agriculture, footwear, pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals, and refining. The diversified revenue streams mitigate the impact of cyclicality and competitive pressures in any particular business segment. The agriculture solution segment of BASF India, which includes insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides among other products, grew 12.4%. The materials segment, which consists of its performance materials and monomers businesses used in segments like transportation, appliances, and footwear, reported a 13.3% rise in revenue. Incredible Industries Limited in daily time frame is trading around 63.62 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 1.304 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 50.66, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 77.51. Raj Darshan Industries Limited in daily time frame is trading around 78.40 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 951.509 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 59.58, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 89.19. SEL Manufacturing Company Limited in daily time frame is trading around 81.10 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 405.274 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 63.17, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 78.15. For the stock recommendation we have, India MART Intermesh Limited looks good and can be bought at 2,802 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 2,732 rupees and a target of 2,898 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!